Um, my name is Michelle Cole. I teach um, fifth grade at Flint Hill Elementary. Um, I was at Palmer Stone before coming here. I was fortunate enough to have an active board last year in my classroom and enjoyed the use of um, that along with active votes, active expressions. Um, prior to that, I'd had um, an active slate that I used. Um, but it was nice getting to have wonderful new stuff here at here at the new school with all the 21st century classroom. I've been teaching for 15 years. When I first started teaching, I taught first grade, and we had one Apple computer in my classroom <laughs> that when we printed things had the big, you know, big letters and block looking things. Definitely since then, the use of computers has enhanced um, my ability to reach students, to gear things to their level, um, to make independent work much more accessible, easier to manage. They love to use technology in any way, shape, or form. Um, and they know that they have to have um, good behavior, not just in the way they act necessarily, but the way they treat the equipment in order to be able to use it. And so um, I see a lot of responsibility showing up with kids that might not typically be responsible. Um, they're very careful with it. Um, and so, yeah, they, they definitely want to do the right thing so that they don't lose those privileges because they do enjoy it. At first, I think it it seems to cost people a little more time. Just number one, to get familiar with it and find the best resources to pull from while creating your own also. The more you use it, the easier it becomes, the more apt you are to use it. Um, but yeah, it's nice to be able to even have split screen and have something that you did yesterday or last week a graphic organizer and then have a different one that you can fill in differently once you've completed an activity to see how they compare. Yeah, so it's it's definitely, um, I think it's a plus. Some that I used last year with fourth grade, um, I can use this year and I'm just going in and changing a few little things here and there. Um, so yeah, having, having the resources there that I don't have to create everything from scratch is very nice. Anybody will tell you, I've, any kind of technology that's there, I like to put my hands on it. We use the desktop computers, we use iPads, we use iTouch, we use the netbooks. My kids love to write on the board and do things on the active board. You know, I, I try to expose them to all of it as often as I can. They, they've really gotten to where with putting the flip charts on my eLearn so that they can interact with them at their own pace. If they make a mistake, it's okay because they're the only one that sees it. Mm -hmm. They've really gotten to where they like that. They can always play games and they know that, but they really enjoy doing that. And we're moving towards um, the computer lab ladies are working with me and we're going to um, let them create their own flip chart. You know, they love using the microphone to share things that they do stand up and share. 4-H um, the other day they were sharing a project and they love the microphone because, number one, it's a microphone, but, you know, number two, I mean, all their friends can hear them better and the children pay much better attention and are more engaged when you have the, the sound like that. Um, but yeah, it is nice then being able to design it how they want it, make it look like them, and still convey useful information for everybody. I'm working on um, allowing the students to bring their own web-enabled devices to school um, for the purpose of AR, um, using them for student response systems, using it for independent math time or things like that as long as it's, you know, um, things that are given by me 
for them to use. Uh, I really think it will be a plus that they can bring their own electronic gadgets to use. And once they see how they can be used educationally, I really think it will benefit them in the long run. They can find the, um, the e-books where they can read on them, you know, things like that. I, I don't think even the kids are aware of what all they could really do educationally <laughs> on their own personal devices. And chances are, even if they have an iTunes account, that's only for music as far as they know. They probably don't realize that um, there are apps out there that they truly would enjoy, because they enjoy them here, that they could get for free and have at home. I think we're definitely headed in the right direction. The things that have been made available to us so far are really great for the kids. Um, I would like to see, you know, in a, in a perfect world, that every student had their own laptop or netbook or even iPad, something similar, and kind of get rid of the textbooks and the workbooks and things like that and do so much more electronically. There's just so much more creativity that can be brought out when you can do things electronically, you know, with all the fun graphics and I just think we would see a whole different side of children if they had access to that all the time. Yeah. I mean, I really think that would be, the ultimate would be for every child to have something that they could carry around with them, have all the information they needed, and create at the same time.